Prepare to be bedazzled because in this video I'm looking at the Hartfield Deer earphones. Let's get it. What's cracking audio fans? It's David here from Prime Audio Reviews. Here is the box for the Hartfield Deer. It's rather unassuming except for that gold label there, but that is the box and the contents of the box and the box itself are rather sparse, so I was not expecting in the least this. The Hartfield Deer retails for $169 and it has a single 6.8mm dynamic driver. It also features brass coated titanium shells. Feast your eyes! on these babies because oh boy we've got some razzle dazzle here today now when i saw these online when i looked at the photos i thought okay so this is going to be a bright iem with some serious high end or upper treble and i could not have been further from the truth but we'll get to the sound in a sec first of all we have to obviously address the looks here now these things obviously look pretty amazing where it's going to be divisive whether people love the look or hate the look i personally think it looks really cool first of all these are really solid shells they feel fantastic in the hand secondly on the face plates here you've got 198 pieces of what they call gem like crystals so not cubic zirconia or anything like that they're not actual diamonds they're just probably bits of glass or something but the workmanship is absolutely fantastic these do not feel or look cheap in the in the slightest when you see them in real life they feel and look just like a real piece of jewelry they are absolutely exquisite and in terms of comfort these are amazing they are very very comfortable iems you can see the contours of the shells there so it's not all it's not all razzle dazzle there's actually some some serious thought has gone into the design of these shells and then we've got the cable which is of course your standard silver plated copper cable it is fairly nice it handles quite well but it is a little bit prone to tangling um, I haven't really had any issues with the cable it is what it is it's not great and it's not terrible but as I said the um, the sound of I got from these is definitely not anywhere near what I was expecting so let's get into it now these look like something that you might find on your grandmother's dressing table but let me tell you when you hear them you would think this might be something you'd find in a rowdy teenager's drawer because these have a bold warm sound with a heavily accented bass in fact i would comfortably label this a bass head iem without reserves let's throw up that graph here the overall sound signature is kind of u-shaped but it could also pass for i guess it would pass for an l-shaped sound heavily accented on the left of the graph which is your bass. Yeah, it doesn't look that intense from the graph, uh, but actually it is pretty intense. And I'm talking about the bass. The bass is intense, man. Like anyone looking for a neutral or uncolored sound, you will not find that here. This is not what you are looking for. But if you are chasing big bass that thumps and rumbles, then you've come to the right place. Both the sub bass and mid bass are big in overall impact. It's surprising how much air that uh, little 6.8 millimeter driver can push. If you are curious about the quality of the bass, well, it's kind of a mixture of both good and bad. On one hand, it's not the fastest bass and there is significant amount of bleeding into the mid range. On the other hand, it is a bass that is loaded with texture and one that is unapologetically tuned for fun. However, due to the sheer quantity of the lows on these IEMs, it will undoubtedly be too much for some listeners to handle. 
Now for the mid-range, just like the base, the Deer's mid-range is a mixture of good and bad. The mids have a warm tone and thickened notes. This works really well for instruments like cellos and violins, and the Deer also produces some gritty and textured electric guitars, which sound really nice. But due to that quantity of bass, the mid-range tends to get congested during busy segments. Furthermore, the bass bleeds fairly heavily into the mids, causing some smearing and congestion. It all gets clumped together. You just got this overriding bass going on. Male vocals sound rich and chocolatey smooth, yet they are still articulate. Female voices come through with a bit more vibrance and they cut more clearly through the warm undertones. The Deer's mid-range is emotive. It, this is an IEM that's likely to get you singing along with your favorite artists and maybe even shedding a tear. However, if you are after super clean mids, then you'll need to look elsewhere. And then we come to the treble and the treble tuning is mostly safe although the lower treble can be a little sharp on occasion there is some sparkle and energy in the upper treble and that's entirely necessary to counterbalance the mammoth bass the detail retrieval is quite good on tracks with less bass but the details quickly get masked over on recordings where there's more happening in the low frequencies. Overall, I quite like the Deer's treble. It's lively, yet mostly inoffensive, and it has a fairly natural timbre. In terms of soundstage and technicalities, you know, the soundstage, it's only got average dimensions and it's slightly wider than it is deep going forward. Despite the modest size of the stage though, the imaging is actually okay, but due to the warmth of the sound, instrument separation varies between good and below average, and that depends a lot on the amount of bass in the music or specific song that you're listening to, so it's a little bit inconsistent. I probably wouldn't recommend these as a daily driver unless you are a certified bass head. Um, on some songs these sound absolutely amazing, on others you'll just be overwhelmed by the massive low end. It, it really hits pretty hard and unfortunately it does kind of muddy up that mid-range a bit. I feel that these were very very close to being incredible IEMs. As it is, as it is though, like for 169 bucks, considering the build quality, the quality of the cable. I think $169 is actually quite reasonable for these. I do enjoy listening to these, especially when I'm like commuting or moving about out in public. That extra bass gets you going when you're out and about. Now I'm not going to do any comparisons in this video because quite frankly, I can't think of any IEM in recent memory that has the quite the quantity of bass that the Hartfield Deer here does. So there's not really anything to compare it to. Just know that this has got more bass than basically everything else. At least everything else that I have tested in, in that kind of price range. The, you know, one to two hundred dollar range. It is pretty massive. You know, maybe if they uh, would put some vents in the shells or just to, did some work on the acoustic chamber a little bit, perhaps they could tighten up that bass a little bit and these would be absolutely fantastic because as I mentioned on the right track these are just magic they sound fantastic and anyway if you are a bass head you are probably going to enjoy these um, but of course it will depend on whether you like that flashy design or not personally I think they're fucking really cool and the fit is great too so the Hartfield Deer is an IEM that surprised, disappointed and delighted me. I was surprised by the bold presentation and energy, you know, compared to what I was expecting, which was a bright sort of treble heavy sound. I was kind of disappointed by the excessive amount of bass that there is, but I was also delighted by the sonic mosaic that it creates when paired with the right music. Bass heads will love it, but neutral purists will probably loathe it. Anyway guys, that is the Hartfield Deer IEM. Uh, do I recommend it? Well, you know what? I like these. I like pretty much everything about them, but I even the bass is 
too overwhelming for me a lot of the time but it, as I keep saying it depends on the music that you're listening to the ball's in your court I will leave it up to you and we'll wrap it up there so guys thanks for watching if you like this video give it the old thumbs up parfam audio file style if you're new to the channel and you want to see more reviews like this in the future make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, check out the description below for links to the full written review links to my discord channel i've also got a patreon set up if you want to support the channel come and join the fam and um until next time i'll see you later